Welcome back to the Hair Lounge. My name's Angelina and I'm a licensed stylist. Today I'm going to teach you how to style your own hair for all those spring and summer weddings or events without the need of your stylist. Let's get into it. If you enjoy learning about hair, click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified for all my new videos. So to achieve a few of these styles, you will need a backcombing comb, clips, bobby pins, hair ties, invisibobble, a boar bristle brush, a backcombing brush with a pick on the end, a rat tooth comb, hair products, you will need any volumizing spray, volumizing powder, hair sprays, super skinning to add shine, molding cream or wax for any flyaways, and any curling irons to help set your curls. For this very first look, I like to call it Old Hollywood Glam. I'm gonna incorporate my curls that I have already curled into my hair. If you need a tutorial of how to achieve the speechy wave look, click this link and it will take you to that video. To begin, I'm gonna take some Defy Destruct, putting a tiny bit on my finger, then emulsi emulsifying it in between my palms. Then we're going to smooth out all of these flyaways. This is where you can use your boar bristle brush to get all those hairs to lay flat up against your head. Then this is where I take my small bobby pins to incorporate kind of the old Hollywood glam. I would get some decorative pins to kind of hold this back. That way you don't have to worry about hiding the bobby pins. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those today, um, but this will at least kind of give you an idea how to do it. Then you just pin those sections back. These are just mini bobby pins. And I like to crisscross them because then this is going to hold and secure it a tiny bit better. If you do not have decorative bobby pins, you can just leave it like that and pull this hair kind of up over the top. Need one more bobby pin in there. Then you can incorporate this hair over the top of those bobby pins. If you like a tiny bit more volume, you can take your boar bristle brush or any backcombing comb and separate this hair just on the top of your crown. Put your brush in, push down, then pull it out. Same thing, in, pushing down all that hair to create a foundation for your back comb. Then I like to take my brush and just gently comb over the top of that back combing section that I just did. So this is Old Hollywood Glam. For this next look, same idea as we did with the Old Hollywood Glam of just pinning it back Instead, now we're gonna do a Dutch braid on the side that is opposite of where you part your hair. To begin, I kind of like to start in the very front section of my hair, separating this corner section into threes. For the Dutch braids, you wanna incorporate all of your hair underneath your middle section to start your braid. Remembering everything is going under, the outside piece is going to the middle. And this is where I like to start to incorporate hair. Grab from this outer piece, going underneath into 
that middle section. Now going towards your hairline, keeping your sectioning fairly small when you're incorporating it into your braid. While you're braiding, you're gonna start taking your whole section and angling it back. That way, it starts going into your hair versus being right along your hairline. Again, remember, all of this hair is going underneath into the middle section and then twisting that hair each time you are adding it into your braid. I like to stop incorporating hair about at the top of my ear. Then I continue the braid down doing just a normal braid with three strands to keep it fairly tight. Then I will use a clear elastic to tie off my braid. And I always like to pin this hair back and underneath So the hair I will be pulling up and over hides the braid. Like so. This is great for summer to keep your hair kind of up and off your face if it's windy. And it keeps it so kind of fun and funky with the braid. You can leave your braid like this or like you guys have seen in my previous videos, I like to pancake my braids and fatten them up. You're using your pointer and thumb to just tug on the braid itself just to loosen it up. Like that. Now this next style I'm going to show you is going to incorporate all of your hair up off of your neck. I like to start with the Invisibobble, gathering all of my hair into a lower messy bun. For this style I like to keep it low into one side I'm going to keep it onto the side where my bangs are parting. You can also do it on the other side. While you're gathering the hair, you want to keep it fairly soft. You don't want to pull it super, super tight. That way it keeps the hair a little bit looser so it's not completely slicked back. I like to make sure my bangs are out. You can pull a few soft pieces around your hairline. With my postpartum hair loss, I normally like to keep this side a tiny bit tighter, so I will not be pulling any hair out on this side. You can kind of tug on this top stuff using rat tooth comb to keep it very smooth. So as you can see, there's a lot of pieces that are kind of hanging out of the Invisibobble and that's okay because we want it to be very soft 
And then we're going to use our bobby pins to kind of place them where we want them. There's not really any rhyme or reason to how you do it. It's more by feel. So if I look, I can see my Invisibobble right um, here. So I'm gonna start incorporating this hair down here up. Now I'm just kind of looking to see like this long piece right here. I want that obviously to be pinned in. You can keep some tendrils down. Since I'm doing this for a hot, humid day, I am going to pin them. That way, it's not hanging down on my neck. And normally, I just kind of grab whatever's down and then twist, kind of tuck up in. I'll grab this piece too. Like so. Now that I can see this one is kind of baggy looking, I will take one of my smaller bobby pins. When I'm pinning it, I am grabbing the hair, opening up my bobby pin, and putting my bobby pin right in that hair. So that hair is going in between the prongs on my bobby pin. Then I just kind of Wiggle it into the hair. Like so. Then I just feel to make sure I don't have any bobby pins showing. And this is for a lower, softer, messy bun. You can spray all this with hairspray, and depending on how much you wanna see on the side, you can kinda of tug some of it out to make sure you can see that low bun. This next style is gonna be a little bit more spunky, kind of wild, not everybody's gonna like it, but it gives you kind of an idea of what you can do to say if you're going to a fun concert or a fun barbecue and you want your hair to be a little spicier. I'm going to take my rat tail comb and divide my hair straight down the middle. Then we are going to do our fun Dutch braids, one next to the other. And it's gonna be my take on space buns, but with braids. Again, just Dutch braiding all the way back making sure you're taking all of that hair under your middle sections. And trying to keep your parting still in the middle. Okay. 
And as you can see, I don't like to go very far over to the right. I wanna keep it fairly close to the middle section. That way you're not having buns way out on the side of your head. For just now, I'm gonna secure with elastic. We will be taking it out so you don't have to be super diligent on getting it tight as we're going to now. Sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. Now we're gonna start on this section. Again, doing our Dutch braid. Keeping it close to our middle parting. And then securing this one with an elastic band as well. Okay, I am going to pull on this braid like I always do to kind of fluff this braid out. You can do as much or as little as you like. I like it to be pulled out just so it's not completely flat against my head. And then now comes our little space buttons, like I like to call them. You can leave this hair down. You can incorporate a tiny bit more hair from the side if you'd like into the bun. And this is where I'm going to take a little bit more hair from my crown to incorporate it into that bun. And I'm going to slide out this elastic piece. That's why you don't want to put it in super tight then we're going to do more of our messy bun while you're wrapping your elastic around you're not pulling the hair all the way through that way you get more of that messy bun By incorporating some of the hair from the side here and the crown, it makes so your bun has a little bit more volume with extra hair in there. And now we're gonna, going to do this side as well, taking more of that hair from the back section. Pulling that elastic out, being careful not to pull on that braid so you don't lose that fun braid that you just did. Again, putting it in just like you would a ponytail, but not pulling all of that hair through. Again, pulling on that braid. So far, it looks pretty good. I do have a couple longer pieces that I will take some bobby pins just to secure those so they're a little tighter with my bun. And same thing, I wanna keep them separated so it looks like bun pigtails, I guess. So I'm going to Pin that one, and I'm just using my small bobby pins for this. You kind of want to look at your buns and make sure they're balanced. So as you can see, this one is kind of more going back and I have more messy stuff forward. So I'm gonna pin some of this hair forward. Again, not wanting these to 
really connect. So I'm gonna pin this hair over. And voila, kind of some fun pigtails, but also with some braids, leaving all of this other hair down. Hopefully you guys like this one. This one's kind of fun, I think. For my final look, I will be doing something that's a little bit more edgy and I like to call it my faux hawk, mohawk. Same kind of idea as the buns on the sides of your head with the braid, but it's gonna go all the way back. It's easier when you back comb all of your hair to give you a little bit of a base. Again, let me show you. You take your brush, put it in the side, and push down. You don't have to go super fast. It doesn't need um, tons of ratting. This is just to give a tiny bit of hold. Then I do like to smooth out just the very top section so that way you don't see all that rat on there. Then I do spray to hold that hair in. We'll probably be able to get about three mohawk sections with this. So this very front section, I do like to keep my sides fairly tight and smooth. So I'm gonna kind of pull any of that back combing out that may have possibly got. So the easiest thing, put your two fingers right next to the front of your ear and just take a section from this very top Again, there's, you know, back combing in there. So just try to be careful so you're not ripping through that hair. And then we will be smoothing these sections together. Again, not putting the comb in super tight into that back comb. I don't want to lose all that back combing. I want to still have that in there. To hold that volume. Taking an elastic, similar to what we did before of not pulling it all the way through, we're just gonna do a messy bun. Don't worry too much about it right now, we're just going to get kind of our dinosaur um, buns all the way down before we mess with it too much. Kind of pull on that hair just a little bit to keep that volume in there. Now we're gonna move on to this very next section. So we're gonna have it be a little bit more in the middle of our head, um, lower than your crown. Again, taking your two fingers and going along this back section, keeping still half of your hair down. Again, taking your comb to smooth out, you're gonna want to pull it kind of more up into the middle. That way you're not having this hair go up to the middle and then this hair is going straight back like this. You want it to go up still on both sides. Taking our elastic still. And doing our messy bun. Like so. Again, don't worry about it too much right now. We're just kind of getting our buns in there. 
then we will define after we get all three of them in there. So now for this very last section, making sure you're keeping it fairly close to that second bun. Side view so you can see how close they are together and this is the front view so now this is where the fun begins now we're going to loosen up all this hair still smoothing these sections together using hairspray for those flyaways then same as before we're going to take our bobby pins and you can fluff out these buns dinosaur horns whatever you want to call them as much as you would like and I just begin pinning all of the hair to where I like it. So I don't like that I can see that elastic right there. So I'll be incorporating this front section, pulling it down, opening my bobby pin, just sliding it to some of that hair and just pushing it straight back. Kind of these bobby pins are new, so I kind of have to wiggle them in. like that same thing just looking for all of the pieces that are not laying in the right spot making sure the fluffiness is even on both sides. Then any flyaways, getting those guys to lay down. Okay, top one is done. Now, for this middle section, I want to incorporate these two kind of together. I don't want them to, almost, I don't want it to look like a French roll. I still want them to look like buns, but I want them to be a little bit closer together so it does look like a mohawk. So I'm gonna take this very top section and pull up on it, then pin it. Then as you can see, it's kind of falling down on this side. So this is where I'll pick it up and pin it. One nice thing with messy buns, you can kind of tug on it to get fullness kind of throughout your bun. as you can see this section is kind of loosening up so I'll just pin it in so it still stays tight up against my head now I'm going to look at this very back section same thing incorporating it into this top or middle bun grabbing a little bit of hair from each bun, the middle section and the bottom bun, and merging those together. And as you can see, there's kind of a separation here. So 
so far. I'm liking what I see. Kind of, oh, don't really like these little pieces poking out. So I'm gonna bobby pin them to my head. Okay. For some people, this might be a little too edgy for them, but it at least gives you kind of a fun new hairstyle that you can try. If you want to make it a little softer looking, you can add any hair pieces, head pieces, jewels along either side of your mohawk. You know, just kind of tuck it in through here, or you can just leave it like this. Okay, and this is my fun mohawk dinosaur look. Thank you for watching. Hopefully these videos will help you guys achieve some fun, new, interesting hairstyles on yourself for any weddings or events you have this spring and summer. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Bye.